All right, guys. Oh, I can't lift my arms. Happy Vlogmas Day, I don't know. I'm filming this last night, obviously, but it's posting today because I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along for my little LA rooftop movie cinema drama. Get a little high with me, watch Home Alone. What's better? There, There is nothing. There's nothing better. I'm taking over Pamos's uh, Instagram story tonight. So Pamos is an infused. This video is sponsored by Pamos. If you don't know what they are, it's a um, it's a cannabis infused spirit. So essentially, like, let me go find it for y'all. Oh my god, I drink it quite often. <laughs> but I do the micro durs. Durs, guys, I can't even fucking talk. Did Brian hide it? Honestly. Brian might have hit it, unless it's on our bar cart, which would make more sense. Yep, it is, it's on the bar cart. Okay, I uh, should not be lifting this either. Let's talk about how gorgeous this packaging is. It's cannabis infused distilled beverage, so you can drink it by itself, plain, or mix it and make it into a little cocktail, which is what I like to do, but because it is strong. Like I have the microdose version, and this shit fucks me, it fucks me right on up. It's only two milligrams of THC, I need about a 0.5, okay? So yeah, you just pour a shot of that into, you know, your mixed drink, and then you call it a night, or a day, or an evening, an afternoon, a morning, whatever you want. So, all that to say, I am headed to their movie event tonight, so we're watching Home Alone on a Roof, drinking Pamos, having the time of our life, and I am taking over their stories, which I don't know who allowed that, because uh, they're in for a treat. Hopefully, I'm like, no, I'm like posting these stories being a, a nutcase. Two doses, you can either get the macro dose version, which is only two milligrams, or you can get the larger dose, that I personally like because I'm trying to get high as a cat <laughs> for six milligrams. Someone's gonna fire me. Like someone's going to uh, take me down and cancel me. But I also think that's probably why they hired me because I'm a, I'm a loose cannon. <laughs> okay. I can't take off my surgical bra. Cute. So I'm throwing on a, um, as you can see, I did do my makeup hauler. I'm throwing on my new leather jacket that I got from Revolve, it's Dundas Revolve leather jacket. I actually would love y'all's opinion on it. I'm a little bit like <clears throat> at myself uh, for spending that much money. But a cow was murdered in the process. Okay, I can't say that. Oh my God, oh my God. Also just got these beautiful satin pumps from Zara. They're black, I'm gonna put those on. I think I'm gonna put on some like hotter pants. I am so fucking bloated from the anesthesia, from the hydrocodone, all the things. Like my body is just, not having it right now, so I don't even know if I'm able to get pants on, slash I can't even, just to get these jeans on, I had to literally like lay on my bed and like wiggle my way in because I can't move my fucking arms still, so this is gonna be an intriguing night. Um, so I'm gonna go, let's go see what I have, and then let me just bring it out in here because the lighting's better, and I will do a little fashion show for you guys. Okay, um, it's hot as ball sack in my house. Gross. It's actually like whenever I think about what that actually means, it's disgusting. All right. So this is the new Dundas Revolve leather jacket. It has shoulder pads in it. I'm still wearing my surgical bra. Oh my God. This is the bra. Um, and then this is my sweatshirt. No one will ever, no one will, how will they know? Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's like a bot. If I don't kill myself before I go to this fucking event, on a Dyson, Jesus. Can y'all see my shoes? I have on black pumps from Zara. They're satin, they're super cute. I thought that the wide, the wide, what's it called, not wide, boot cut jeans looked better just to give it more dimension. I didn't think it should be like super skinny on top. So this is what we're going with. I might do like a little bit of this pose. I have no fucking idea. I can't lift, this hurts to lift my arm like this if we're being, if we're being frank. I am gonna do a red lip because I feel like this outfit needs a little, little pop of color. I wore this in the boob job video. This is what I was meaning to tell y'all. This is the Chanel, the, all the tubes look like this. This is the best lipstick, lip stain I've ever bought in my entire life. It's like $45, don't give a fuck. I will buy it in every color. It is the La Rouge Duo in Ultra. I don't know if that's the shade. Oh, the shade is Burning Red, love. I'm not gonna do this. Brian's calling one sec. Hey babe, you guys having fun without me? I should have come with you. Yeah. I know, that was my fault. That jacket looks sick. Y'all like this outfit? Oh, that is so cute. I think that is sick. Well, I love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay, and we're back to putting on the lipstick. Oh, wow. She's a moment. 
yeah, the all black, you know, it needed it. God, I'm sweating. I will say leather jackets are warm because it is a cowhide, not to bring that up again. All right, I'm going to call an uber black because I feel like being bougie. I'm probably going to do a shot of, oh, God, see, this is the thing. I got to get back tonight, edit another vlog after the party and get it up before midnight tonight. So like, should I drink at this? No, but will I probably? Okay, I'm going to take some selfies and then I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys there. Okay, I lied. I'm waiting for the Uber still. Actually, no, I canceled the fucking Uber and I got a lift because the Uber kept changing its time every five seconds from two minutes to 10 minutes to 20 minutes back to two minutes. And I said, fuck this shit. I'm going to lift. Bing bong, you're fired. Also, I decided that I'm actually posting this vlog tonight. So when I get home, I will literally be editing this vlog in real time, posting it tonight. So, um, we'll see how this goes. Let's go, motherfuckers. All right, guys. So I just made a new friend <laughs> with my Lyft driver, Uber driver, his name's CJ. Um, and he's gonna come with me to the event. CJ, hey say guys. what's up. Gang, 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 yeah, we gang, in gang, LA. gang, we in LA, baby. He's from here. I was like, this is too fucking funny. I was like, why don't, do you wanna come? And he was like, yeah, let me. I said, park your car, let's fucking go. Yes. So now we're gonna act like we've been best friends for years. All right, guys. We are here at the Cine Lounge. I got here early so I could do content, but everything is so cute. Home Alone's gonna be fucking fantastic on this screen. The Home Alone movie that we've all been waiting our whole lives to see. A little high. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I've had one drink, which is not enough, so now I'm headed back to the bar. Look how cute this whole setup is. Everybody's here, even my neighbor, Jao. Hello. Party on, baby. It is um, happening. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. I did an Irish goodbye and I left. Um, I am not feeling super great it was also really cold the leather jacket turned out not to be that warm in fact so i took an uber home and just peaced out left my new friend cj cj sorry um i had to go and yeah i got home and immediately walked through the door and i was like oh my god this feels better i just i'm i just want to be in sweatpants and it'd be different if brian was there but i don't know if i mentioned this he left me for a golf tournament so that's why i'm Went flying solo tonight, thankfully met, made my friend with an Uber driver and he just, guys literally, you know, he's like, what are you doing tonight? And I tell him what I'm doing and uh, he's like, oh my God, I love Home Alone. It's like one of my favorite movies. And I was like, oh, you should come. And he literally said, okay, parked his car. I was like, I fucking love this guy. This is me, I would do this. Uh, so CJ, you're the man. I also got to meet, one of their founders tonight, his name is Rob, and he was so sweet, originally from New York, made me want to move to New York. Well, he's originally from here, but he used to live in New York, and now he's here, and I just, yeah, I want to be in New York, you know? Like, right now, I'd be going to, like, some cozy, cute little bar, you know, maybe it's snowing outside, maybe I'm getting myself a hot toddy or five, you never know. All right, guys, I'm going to get in my sweatpants, and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm gonna edit this vlog and I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, love you guys. Benny, say night night. Say good night guys, I love you. This is our little late night chit chat. Little fun facts about Pamos that I, you know what, I'm from the south. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but I'm saying Pamos, Pamos, Pamos. So because of that reason alone right there, I'm going to completely butcher it and just go into my full blown southern accent. Uh, so there is no alcohol in in this spirit. It is literally just THC. You can either get the micro dose version, which is only two milligrams, or you can get the larger dose that I personally like because I'm trying to get high as a cat <laughs> for six milligrams. You can mix it uh, in a in a in a cocktail, uh, or you can just do it straight. And uh, you know, I just I do it straight. On the rocks. Just no check, no face. Well, <laughs> well, that's all for now. That's all I've got tonight for this show.
That just went British. Um, anyways, glad you guys are, whoever's still here, I'm sorry. Hope you sleep well and you're not home alone. It's been a blast.